hello again there. The reason I've invited you in here today is because I want to show you my sewing machine because this is the last it'll be looking like this. What I'm doing here is I'm going to take this bad boy and convert it into a hot rod. That's right, I am not only an artist and designer but also a sewing machine mechanic. So I am very comfortable to take that bad boy apart and paint it up awesome. Okay, it's a day later and here's the machine broke down and now covered in blue tape. So uh, the scary thing is this machine worked beautifully before I decided to take it apart. Now I've got a bucket full of screws and nuts and washers and all kinds of crazy stuff. And I've got my favorite sewing machine wrapped up in blue painter's tape. My goal here is to cover every single working part. Let's move in a little bit here. There she is. So all the working apparatus other than the bottom so far is already taped over. Standard blue painter's tape, lots and lots of seams. And of course, my big problem is now it's late at night and I won't get to paint it till tomorrow. But the nice thing is, is tomorrow's my birthday and that's my present to myself as a new hot rod paint job on my quilting machine. I'll keep you posted. All right, here we are. We're back. We're outside. The machine's all taped off and it's another day. It's a beautiful sunny day out. So we're ready to go ahead and paint this thing. I've got my gloves on. There's my rattle can of orange, and we're going to take some nice light strokes on this bad boy and just give her just what we're after there. I've got it, like I said, outside with nice ventilation, no wind, so a paint job should go pretty good. We'll see where we're at when we're all done. Light dusting. That's all we want is just a nice light dusting. The extra parts and pieces, everything's been wiped down with alcohol, been taped off. All right, so here's the first coat, looking pretty good. The key to spray painting though is lots and lots of light coats, and then when I'm all done with this, I'll still do all my detail and pinstripe work, and then I'm going to hit it with clear coat, and the clear coat will give it that great finish and protect it from scissor nicks or seam rippers or any of those other things that can happen while we're working here at our sewing machine. So this is coat one. I'll probably go through two full cans of spray paint to really make sure this thing's nice and durable. Uh, we don't want to wear it off after all this hard work. Don't really want to take the machine apart again. Hey, okay, we're back. You can see that the uh, sewing machine paint job is going quite well. Uh, this is not overspray. I have decided now to go ahead and match all of my paint jobs with my wardrobe. Shouldn't be hard as long as everything's orange or blue, I guess. So with that, now, this is a reminder. Everything on here is already surface coated. It's an orange can of the uh, metallic base spray paint. Uh, all the taping is still in place to protect the working parts of the machine. And from here, I'm going to do some detail work onto the, um, the body of the machine and do some detail work onto the external covers. These kinds of pieces like this here. Oh, everything looks orange on camera. Beautiful. Anyways, I'm going to give it basically like it's been into the serious tattoo shop and got a bunch of awesome uh, high-end artwork done. It's my goal. And then from there, I'll go ahead and clear coat it. Um, most likely going to use Sharpie markers for the outline so I get a real clean, crisp line. And for the colors I want to use, I'm going to use these acrylic um, paint pens. These have a roller ball inside. You can hear it shaking back and forth just like a rattle can. Keeps my paint mix inside the pen. These are those pens that you push down on the tip and the uh, paint starts to flow. So it should be good, but can be a little bit of a challenge because with these, it's hard to go back over your spots when you're filling in color. So I've used them a lot on my surfboard work in the past when I've been doing detailed surfboards for folks. I'm pretty comfortable with this style of pen and it lasts forever even in the salt water. So I'm, I'm thinking this is the right medium. Worst case scenario, I sand it, repaint it, start fresh. It still works as a sewing machine. From here on out, I'm gonna shoot some time-lapse photography of the paint job going down or the detail going down check back in with you when I'm all done with that. Well, things didn't go quite so well. Let me show you what happened here. Try to paint it a little bit more. Let's see where are we out there. There it is. Now we've got a color fade going on. And the reason we've got the color fade going on is because when I hit it with the pens, the pens did not work. Caused the paint to bubble all up and got crazy. 
So I'm going to go back to Sharpies. They're not an oil base, should help a little bit. And um, I had to basically sand and repaint. Got a couple issues going on, nothing terrible at this point. But now we've gone to a yellow to orange. So I just want to kind of give you all an update. We'll come back to this later, but I think time needs to be on my side, meaning got to take it slower. I tried to rush it. Didn't work out so good. So plan two. Sorry you missed out in the middle phases of the frustration, but probably for all for the better.